What is up, ladies and gentle tips? How you guys doing today? We're out here going to be doing some V-Rope filled activities. There's a bunch of army dickheads over there doing some sort of training of some sort. Probably figuring out how to low crawl on their mushroom tip. But uh, today, we're going to be riding all throughout this majestic area with you know who, the Scotty O2. And um, let's go ahead and get her set up. Had a little hair in my ass to come out and do a little bit of some Scotty O2 action today, so why the hell not and also it's been so long since we've been here and did this on top of that boom that wasn't supposed to come out boom you turn on boom put you right there turn on the beacon all right here we go and we're off There we go, baby. Except we should put it to the left. All right, so a lesson I learned from the last video was, come on, motherfucker, to keep the distance at a, uh, a more farther away rate. Okay, we're at 49 feet. So once we start moving here, you should know which direction I'm going. It's gonna start chasing me from lay left. And there we go. And now you guys are going to actually see the V-ropes out here. And we've got some power lines coming up right here. I think I want to go this way. I forget. Damn, I'm already forgetting my way through here. What the hell is that thing? Looks like some sort of stovetop. Imagine coming all the way out here just to dump yourself a stovetop. Ooh, this place got this road's got all kinds of right, like right here ooh, all kinds of ruts to make your cunt go uh. that almost rhymes that almost rhymed i tried to make that rhyme scotty is doing a tremendous job following me man it is kind of like slightly windy today so you guys are getting probably some absolutely clear view ropes right now Here we come. We're going up into the more uh, rural part of this ride. Ooh. 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 This bike is a lot better through here than the Grom. I'll say that much. Just suspension wise. You guys could probably, you guys are probably literally seeing my suspension doing work. This suspension that's never been touched or worked on since I've owned the bike in 2013. So, man, let me, let me go ahead and rephrase that. Blown out suspension most likely, but it's still doing a lot better than the Grom. It's very slip and slidey through here. Ooh. Ever since I came out here that one time and there was that van that was like tucked up in the trees back there, I was like, bitch, nah, what the hell? Oh, it says high, high wind warning. Oh, the wind's blowing it. It is pretty windy today, but she should be able to handle it. Oh shit, I forgot it's all blocked off right here. Look at right there, there's like a foundation of something. Dude, there was bees here last time. I don't know if I want to fuck with bees to keep it real with you golf ball action. Dude, was there like a house here at one point? Huh. It's a little weird. Oh shit, son. There we go. Yeah, it's been a while, especially with the Skydio since we've come through here. That's for damn sure. Oh shit. Am I going to be able to get through this? Oh shit, there's a guy right there. Oh fuck, there is no way to get through this. I'm literally, I'm going to have to like carry my fucking bike underneath. Let's see what's over here. Oh, can I go around right here? 
Oh, it's like a bridge, but it's closed off too. Why, why the fuck are they closing everything off? See, the grom I used to put underneath that fucking, um, that gate. Can we get through this? If I can get through this, we should be good. Oh, hell no. I thought that was a bridge. Nope. Uh-oh. We're going to have to... We're going to have to do a little dilly-dallying. Oh, wait. Can I go down there and up and up? Oh, that might work. Because that used to be full of water at one point. Because I'm going to have to, like, quite literally flatten my bike onto the ground right there. And I do not want to do that. All right. Let's try going down this. Oh, yeah. Nice and sandy through here, isn't it? Woo. And the drone got real close to the ground right there. This used to have a bunch of water through it. Damn, it got close. Whee! We made it! Hell yeah. Let's put it behind me now. Alright, now we got it going direct back. So this should look like you playing a video game and I'm your character. Round one, start! <laughs> Does it look like you're fucking playing me as a video game? <laughs> oh shit, it's gonna have some obstacles here. Stay away from the trees, stay away from the trees. Oh shit, this is gonna be a test for it. Oh, fucking right by it. Dude, I, this thing always trips me out how good it does. Here we go, here we go. Dude, this beacon idea is like such a crazy good idea for like someone like me. The thing's insane how good it does. Whoa, did this have like a little fire? I'm just so impressed with it. I keep thinking like I'm gonna lose it or something, but. Now we're back at that little uh, that little washy area and that one spot with that big like roller coaster looking spot. Oh, whoa. Got all sandy through there. Holy shit. About to fall on my ass and re-dislocate my dick beater. Oh man, it's all nice and green right here we looking right here oh we got this you know what let's check out what this looks like out here looks like I still got let's do a battery check real quick so we are at 40% still damn this used to be all muddy and shit and it'd be like hard as fuck to ride through and now it feels like an actual like little solid spot oh and then I spoke too soon and we are in the sand. Yeah, this is like just going on the beach. Let's oh shit. Let's get a cool view going down the uh down the little embankment right here. Oh shit. This is gonna be like a fucking graffiti roller coaster right here. Literally hundreds of dick beaters have painted all kinds of Picasso art all through this area. Here we go. Oh my god, this feels like a goddamn roller coaster. <laughs> oh damn, the drone's actually behind me still. So. 
Oh, that's a nice recliner. Can you imagine, like, there's probably somebody that, like, had this a decade of watching TV on that chair and then just for it to end up just right there. All right. And a cool feature I never showed you guys before. Check this cool shit out. I can point this thing like a TV remote. It says wanding. And I tell it where to go. Look. I'm remote controlling it. Is that not actually cool as hell? Watch. Stop. Now go back this way. Now give me a cool like jib crane shot up. Now go back down. And then you just let go. Like the, the fucking shit is insane. So let's bring her in. And then we're going to wand it right here. Stop. Land. There we go. And that is a perfect flight from Le Skydio 2. Ooh, some bug got its asshole blown out. Doing this little rest. Hey, a little fan inside there on the little super chip. And then hold this off. Boom. Dude, the beacon, this beacon only used 4% battery last time I was out with it, too. Like, the beacon battery is insane. Honestly, impressive. All right. Let's get this bad boy loaded back up. I'm telling you, this drone is, I, I can't see a drone that I can, that I would like more than this thing. All right. All loaded up and ready to go. Dude, that was a fun little flight right there, actually. I can't wait to see what that footage looks like. I hope it's just full of view ropes. Hopefully the camera was, the drone was just perfectly far enough away where you got like the entire essence of the view rope. You know what I mean? Shit, I gotta make a little bitch over here. Well guys, that's gonna conclude this little adventure. Just wanted to bring you guys some more orgasmic ass view ropes once again from another area. Something a little fresh for your eyeballs, your little cunt gazers there. As always, all links will be down below. If you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, get one of my shirts, keychains, stickers, etc. And, as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the fuck out of that like button. You guys have yourselves a real good day. I'll see you guys later.